and welcome back to the Don't Make This Weird podcast. I was already on YouTube uh, looking at the people joining in, and I missed my cue there. I sound a little bit, a little bit strange. I a think. Really strange. What can are you, you doing? Can you fix me a little bit over there? I don't know. It sounds really weird to me. Okay. All right. Well, we'll see. Grab the hammer. Uh, no. <laughs> no. Well, welcome back to the Don't Make This Weird podcast, everybody. We're glad that you're joining in tonight. We are very excited. It's Thursday. Thursdays are always a good night for us. Give me the sludge hammer! <laughs> Give me the sauce. Oh, that's different. So, <laughs> you We're can going tune, to the split screen. You can tune in on uh, Twitch or on YouTube. We kind of have a little banter back and forth on which is, be- which is better. Uh, yeah, I've, I've, you know, I'm just I think saying. YouTube is superior Twitch here. Everybody is... likes to hang out with me instead of you. They love me on Twitch, I'm just going to say. That, and they like to make me say weird stuff. Yes, because. I think that's really what it is. It's weird. Yeah. So welcome back, guys. Uh, we're glad to have you here. We're going to go really quick over the week. What? Oh, in case you... I forgot to tell you guys I'm here with my weird co-host, <laughs> Tony. All right. Come on. Come on now. Let's be professional. What? We have to be professional? <laughs> How's your week been? We'll start with you. Uh, my week? Okay. Wow. Um, yes. Uh, after two days of successfully not... Um, getting the file transferred. I finally got the file transferred to <laughs> from Josh. the last po- our, our last initiative impossible. Yes, God. I gotcha. <laughs> Technology. Why do you hate me? As I say, the show's not. <sighs> why? Why do you hate me? Just like seriously, we we have to figure this out. I I work with you all day long, and yet you would want to do nothing but like <laughs> make me more balder. This 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 more is not balder. okay. <laughs> yes. Uh, but well, hey, uh, good thing uh, that went off without a hitch. And mm-hmm. yeah, it did. No spoilers, but go listen to the episode. It's quite amazing. It was fun. Because, uh, yeah, there was things that were crawling. <laughs> there were things. <laughs> I, I did not like those things. <laughs> yeah. But we, we ventured on. Yes. But here's the best part about this. So uh, here I am, two weeks into uh, apparently ma- major downloading. Mm-hmm. audiobooks oh yeah i'm 28 audiobooks in yeah. the past two weeks <laughs> i don't know what like i'm seriously going how 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 huh? how how is my brain downloading this much information and just going so i don't know <laughs> i don't know but they're pretty incredible like, I look, Jeff see the say. camera just took a shit because they didn't know how to process the information oh. i was rattling well, off there it goes all right but uh yeah it's been pretty cool uh we did uh did we do we did we did uh an episode of survivor <laughs> girl uh no uh was it last week or? it was not because it was the end of the month so no i did not do the prior one i did though it's one. been a minute since i've done one and now with december i'm gonna be a lot busier so i can't guarantee you very many of those and then monday happened again my alarm went off and i i well i'll get into my week after you, you're done with yours <laughs> because i had some interesting stuff happen so yeah it's been uh pretty freaking crazy they all blur together I mean, yes we're doing nine shows mm. wait a minute hold on Really? I'm doing nine shows a week. <laughs> Excuse you, sir. I don't. Mm-mm. But no, it's it, it's pretty crazy watching uh, Strange Friends Media grow. Yeah. At a very uh, uncomfortable yet comfortable rate. Right. With what it is that we're doing. Because now people are like, hey, you guys really know what you're doing. We're going to come to you because you're the professionals. And we're like. Mm. is there a responsible adult in this room because we're not, not seeing one yet <laughs> no neither one of us are that you left title. me in charge Mm-mm. wow things have really de-escalated haven't they <sighs> yeah they have they have and you guys let it happen i'm just gonna blame all of you out there <laughs> you guys let this happen am i the only one that gives a shit about the rules <laughs> market zero oh boy oh boy so how was your week heather well, it was interesting. <laughs> I 
So I was uh, at work and decided to take a walk like I always do on my break. And before I knew it, I was walking by the big Santa, and which sounds delusional anyway. There's a big Santa and two penguins by it. I work at Bronner's. Just so you guys know, I wasn't just seeing it like Adam Sandler. What? Um, started walking what were you around. smoking on your I wasn't. Break? I wasn't. <laughs> and I'm walking around it, and all of a sudden, I'm meeting the ground. <laughs> I'm just, my first thought was, okay. Did you have too many edibles on lunch? Is no, I don't do that. You, do, you were doing peyote, weren't you? I was not okay. doing anything. Sure. I was actually really, you know, I was good. It was early. It was like my first break of the day. Mm. And my first thought was, okay, you're 41 now. <laughs> Is your hip broken? <laughs> that was my first really? thought. Really? Wow, Heather. <laughs> that was. It was my first thought. I was like, okay. Throwing shade happened? at old people but now. I went to go God. F- I said, I'm 41. Okay, I'm 45. So many things are different now. Like, my body and me are not getting <laughs> along. We're not friends, even. So you, you stopped growing hair in funny places and thinking about guys? <laughs> you're so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> so dumb. So anyway, I so I had to go get that checked out because the first, what is the first thing that you're gonna do? Normally, probably protect your head. No, that wasn't me. I decided to put my hand out and on my right hand, which yes. I've already injured at work prior to this. And yeah, so I had to go get checked out and see because I'm there was no ice even. I'm like, what yes. just happened? <laughs> what happened here so i had to go get checked out they they checked out the ticker everything was good well because i mean what what else can you say other than i tripped over my little feet that probably happened that's probably really what what it was because my boots are 10 times too big now do we need to get you a life alert <laughs> i don't know Maybe for my 42nd birthday, I don't know, but get you a barrier free bathtub. Be like, my dog, something my like that. My soap. It was so dumb. It was so dumb. Yeah, so holy cow. We've so there got was that the chat blowing up. All right, let's Good take luck. it up. All we'll right. do this really quick and then yes. we'll, let's get to our guests after yes. that. Yes, your shenanigans. Okay, ladder ladder says, Happy Thursday, Thursday. Uh, and says, My mom started going to y'all's natural path. Oh, office. yeah. Hell yes. Yeah. By the way, Cindy's seeing Dr. Matt now, which is amazing. There we go. All I got right. to sit and chat with him for a minute. Dr. Matt's awesome. Yeah. Uh, and Bobby chimes in and says, 41 is so old. <laughs> Tissa Jones! Because 41 is so old. Mm-hmm. And, then, and then there's other stuff. From, okay. We're not going to go to that because it's, it's, it's lame. It's the other channel. All right. So you two. Oh, we're going over to YouTube here. Yeah. So we got MTGA <laughs> Master the Game Already. Uh, that's actually John tuning in. Really? He says, hey, yo. <laughs> I said, hello. And he says, this is John, by the way. And the title is my new channel name. Nice. So that's awesome. We can check that out. I think Tony is the normal one and Heather is the weird co-host. That Aww, is thanks, true. Thanks, John. That thanks. is true. Which underneath that, my dad's joining in. So he probably just... <laughs> Hello, you guys. How's it going? Shelby's joining. Hi, Lexi. Hey, yo. Uh, John says the game are please no making out with a giant invisible penguin. That did not happen. Uh-huh. And Kenna says, hey. So, okay, we're caught up. We're pocket caught up. Pocket Kenna, hi. Yeah, Pocket Kenna, Kenna Gaming. Nice name for the uh, channel, too, John. Mm-hmm. So, all right, let's get into it. We have a special guest today, it's tonight. Amazing. And we kind of had to pin, pin, pin her down because we tried doing this before, but it just didn't work out, which happens because life is crazy. You got She's a lot busier going than on. we are, which is insanity. No, no. <laughs> so let's welcome, <laughs> let's welcome Lauren to the podcast. Lauren, welcome to the podcast. Oh, the camera took a shit. What is going on here? I'm, I'm going to kick it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. Nope, that didn't fix it. <laughs> All right, well, welcome. We're glad to have you have you joining us tonight. There we go. You got it now? We good? Uh, God, I hope so. See, I can't even Talk see to this. The mic. I used to be able to see the camera. Now I can't. So Your camera. I'm in the corner over here. You kind of. You didn't even do anything wrong. Like, that was Tony's doing. Uh, no. It's always Tony. It's Everything. I, I was going to say, but at least I got the comfy chair. It is. <laughs> that you are the special guest. So how have you been? It's been a minute since I I've actually I seen you. I know it has been a minute. I'm doing great. Everything in the life is fantastic. That's awesome. You know I'm here and I get to see my friends, so that's even better. I know it's been a minute. I'm we're, glad we're to see you friends. too. This is awesome. I like this. I like that too. She can stay, Heather. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm not like kicking anybody out. Right? Yeah. <laughs> you got the market and stuff, and we're all weird, but don't. 
<laughs> I love it when everybody in the room is weird because then I don't feel so awkward when I like fall by a penguin, you know. So that works. Yeah. <laughs> by the way, there's going to be a penguin at the market. Oh, well, Saturday maybe morning. I'll make so you should. Make, I was going to say, but no falling no at falling. our market. No falling. <laughs> no, I had to go to. I have to work now because I was off from my my incident there. So I won't see you guys this weekend. But that's okay. You guys can go and check it out if you're local or not. There's, you know, you can check out what's all going on. Yes. Oh my gosh, I should have brought a flyer because I don't even know everything that's going on. It's kind of <laughs> crazy. My recommendation is jump on the Carol Farmers Market page and we do have an event posted for Gingerbread Village. I if know there's going to be right sled there. dogs and carrot rides and free toy distribution. There's the Farm and Arts Market, the first Candy Cane Lane Farm and Arts Market, which is awesome. Uh, looks like Tony's got one of the swag bags we gave oh, away nice. for uh, small business. It's on his head. <laughs> for he for put small, it, oh, okay, it's yeah. on his head. Nope. He's going to wear the bag. Yeah, just do it. I mean, it, it should have been done already, but it's all right. I think there we go. Oh, oh, there we go. There's breakfast with Santa <laughs> on Saturday. Oh, my God. The I reach. Stretch. The reach. <sighs> <laughs> I came prepared. <laughs> So they made these wonderful flyers, but I'm working oh, with nice. the Chamber of Commerce, and we've got a lot of different sponsors and different levels of sponsors for the event this coming weekend. But we've been working on it for a while now, and um, we're going to have lots of free kids stuff for the or free stuff for the kids, like different crafts and stuff, over in Trudeau Square. And we're closing down the road, which is awesome. We've never done that for Gingerbread Festival before. Uh, we've got an animal magic show. I don't know. Okay. Maybe there will be a penguin. <laughs> Probably will <laughs> be. <laughs> Probably. I mean, maybe really I can sure. ask if they're hiring so, like, yeah. I can trip over the penguin and everybody will, like, applaud. Yeah, it's like a comedy. It could be. <laughs> magic show, animals, magic, comedy, That's weirdness. Fantastic. So Isn't that'll a, be fun. Something with the penguins that, like, they produce some sort of, like, hypnotic, uh, I don't know, <laughs> substance and, like, people do that stuff I, as I'm Eskimos and get high. Yeah, no. Well, I don't know. No, I don't Look even know. <laughs> I don't like know. an oil, change. like they emit an oil into the yeah, air or something? Yeah. Like, pheromones, pheromones. Uh, sure. I mean, yeah. like Heather's getting high up penguin pheromones. No. Just all of a sudden, like, oh, the ground is no. great. Like, this is straight down I here. I, just have to be, I have to be honest with you guys, though. At least I am so thankful that I didn't, like, fall into the Santa butt because it's, like, right there. <laughs> It's like Santa is very tall, and I walk by, and I'm just like... Heather's totally eating Santa ass. Oh my God. I don't know if this show is right for me. I'm, really, I'm like an ugly laugher, so I'm like, I'm no, over no, here no, choking. No, no. Uh, see, here's the thing. I, I want to point this out, because we got to observe this all okay. farmer's market, okay. which was amazing. Oh, no. And I'm one of those people that point out the blatant obvious, because I think it's amazing. Lauren, and we're going to go to Lauren's shot right there. <laughs> I adore Lauren because when she laughs or she smiles, she does it with her whole face. Right how many people do that? Like, look at that. Just, like, she's smiling. Not many, with her. No. It's amazing. Like, how could you not appreciate that? So we should start with, like, I'm the farmer's market <laughs> manager go. here in Carroll. <laughs> I work for the city of Carroll, so I'm semi-professional. Um, <laughs> you know, the other part of my job is being amazing and a people person and having fun and trying to coordinate things and not go crazy. So... Yeah, this is a great release, really. This yeah. is fun. It's a lot of fun for me to do stuff like this, too. So that's why we keep talking about the farmer's market, because we've all been um, a part of the farmer's market this past season. We ran from June until October, and Heather had a fan. You know about her, her business, I'm sure, right? Yes. Dra Dragonfly Boutique. Uh, everybody's which... always in my business. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's that business, and then there's the other business. That's, uh... And so, like, she makes all these amazing different kinds of items and sells at the farmer's market, Aww. which is awesome. And she signed on for the whole season, which I was did. even better, because I love that kind of support from the vendors, too. So Absolutely. It really makes a difference to be like, that's Heather's spot. <laughs> Yeah, you I know. had a spot. Like, <laughs> she had her, even if and I tried go. to be there on time, that was that was some early stuff. I know, but did, I tried. You did great. Yeah, he, I think he had to cover me one time. He called me and he's like, "You coming, little buddy?" I'm like, "Uh, I just woke up." And I stood there looking at my clothes, like, <laughs> "What am I supposed to do right now?" But anyway, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it is an early morning. I think I think <laughs> I shouldn't say it on camera, but I think we're gonna change the hours a little bit for next year, so we'll be aware of that. But All right. farmers markets are a great place to like have fun, meet people. We definitely were like the center of attention in Carroll. Yeah. Come the to the market. Area. Come <laughs> to the market. That was Tony's like catchphrase every time I made a video. Yep. Yes. So it was nice to have that too, because it's kind of like it's our branding now, right? Yes. Right. Definitely. Absolutely. Definitely. 
Yeah, it was a lot of fun. A lot of vendors. I yeah. mean, I there was every spot underneath usually was covered. So, I mean, it was a good support from the community. It was really cool to see everybody come out. And then they got used to, you know, all Saturday. I got to be there. I got to go. Lots of really good stuff, too. Produce, all of that. That's awesome. So, yeah. We definitely, like, blew it out of the water, what people thought we were going to be able to do. And what we made it, what yeah. we made happen. I'm looking so. forward to next season for sure. Me too. And this is going to be like, we had one f- grand finale, which was uh, like the pumpkin festival. Then we had a really great tr- trunk or treat mm-hmm. uh, for Halloween on a, well, the day before Halloween, October 30th, but gingerbread festival. And then I'm taking a little vacay. I think I deserve it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. for sure. <laughs> so I'm going to chill for a little while with my family and just relax. And yeah. See how that life goes for a minute. I, don't, I have to tell my boss, so I hope he's not watching right now. This, if you are, I'm taking a break. <laughs> I need a little break. vacation, a little vacay. Yeah, but I think honestly, though, you you deserve one. You were yeah. working your I think tail everybody off. Everybody deserves one once in a while. Yeah, you know? but for this sure. is definitely this. There's a gingerbread. At the same time, like we've been coordinating the small business Saturday, which was mm-hmm. fantastic. That we had a lot awesome. of people come out. The city of Carroll. Um, we bought. I don't know, 250 of these tote bags. Tony, toss me your tote bag. Because <laughs> we're all about, it's not just about the farmer's market, right? Like, my whole life is about supporting the community. Can you see the bag? Can yes. I, I can't see myself. Okay, yeah. <laughs> all right. So, see, it says shop local. Shop small. Shop yeah. Carol, which is amazing. So, we yes. got all those. We got pens, you know, and we canvassed businesses to be a part of that. And then that was kind of like the introduction to the next program, which is even cooler. Yes. I love the Carol Cash thing. That's going to be fun. Yeah. Now, how, explain a little bit how that works with the, the, the local mom and pop businesses with the Carol Cash and, and some of that uh, stuff. Because I still don't quite understand it. Of course, I'm slow. But <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, can you explain some of that? Because I know it, it's going on for the duration. But yeah, tell tell some of our listeners because we have a ton of stuff in chat right now. Really? Yeah, that's awesome. Okay. Well, hi everybody. If you're saying hi to me because I haven't seen you in a little bit, it's good to see. Like Shelby was on there, and there was a couple other names I saw that I knew, so that's cool. All right. So the Carol Cash program. This is how it all started. I'm gonna give you the kind of the quick rundown, and then go back over the details real quick. But it all started with this huge grant from Consumers Energy. So they gave over 175. What, 750, I'm sorry, $750,000 to communities <laughs> in Michigan. Cow. I was like, we should get more, but that's okay. Thank you, Consumers Energy. I got to start with that, right? Because they're investing back into our all these communities. That's awesome. And so they gave us this grant. And the idea is the city and the chamber are working together to facilitate signing up businesses, like registering them to accept the CARO cash as a form of payment. Nice. And on the other token, we are also doing the sales and marketing to sell the gift certificates. So we're selling the gift certificates online at carochamber.com. You purchase one for $25, and we then Consumer Energy doubles that $25. But because we have their money, the 9000 they gave us, already in the bank account, you buy the Caro Cash, 25 bucks. And we give you fifty dollars in gift certificates to wow. shop at all these different businesses. And I think right now we've got like twenty five signed up, wow. and it's all different kinds too. People are coming out of the woodwork like, "I want to do it." Oh, somebody called and asked if uh, we participate in the Carol Cash, so now we have to sign up. But I'm like, "Yeah, you guys got to sign up. <laughs> yeah, definitely got to sign up." Like I, I could go knock on your door all I want, but until you understand that we're mm-hmm. doing this program and people are already buying, yeah. 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 They give certificates online and coming to the city hall to pick up the actual certificate. So they bring their um, confirmation email, yes. which is like a receipt to city hall. And then I'm standing in the window like this. Ah! But, <laughs> you know, like, hey, hey, Carol Cash. But um, so they bring that confirmation email in. And then I'm like, here you go. You know, and that's, <laughs> pretty, right, that's right. fun for me. That's like yeah. the fun part. It's like, yeah. I'm like, they come with this paper and it's like 25 bucks. And here you go. Here's 50. You know, like, it's it's amazing to be able to do that for your community and for people, you know, especially during the holiday season because mm-hmm. it's going to make a big difference. Oh, yeah. Um, so this this is how it kind of, this is how it makes me feel. It's like, here's 9000 that we're already going to spend somewhere, right? right? Like, these people are going to spend money anyway. It's a holiday season, so we're going to spend. But now that 9000 turns into 8000 and it stays in our community. Yeah. Nice. So that is a huge deal for the people of our area, you know, and for the businesses. And uh, we definitely want to make sure we keep selling. 
we're at like 5,000 as of today. We've oh, wow. sold 5,000, which That's means awesome. we are two to distribute $10,000 into the veins of Carol, which is wow. awesome. Yeah. That's now, is incredible. there a list for the businesses that are signed up for this? So the current, yeah. So on the back end, me and the other person who are working together are sharing a Google spreadsheet, right? And I'm like, I just signed this one up. I signed this one up, you know? Right. And then on the front end, which is the carochamber.com, okay. she's plugging in all the different businesses as we go along. Nice. So the, the list gets updated every day. Okay. Um, like I said, I think we're up to 25. There are so many, and there's such a great variety, different restaurants. Uh, today I signed up Rails End. We signed up Heartfelt Gifts, the gift shop over at McLaren, which is awesome. We I signed up State Street Pharmacy. We signed up State Street Fitness. Nice. Um, the Oasis is on there. Oh, wow. I can't even think of all the different places, but they're all the like most of the salons, <laughs> kids' closet, Christine's nice. Arts and Crafts, is it Arts and Antiques, Christine's Arts and oh, Antiques yeah, on yeah. Main Street. It's so cool there's place. places I've never been, but I'm yeah. gonna be like, I'm gonna go there because mm-hmm. the the breakdown is I'm getting fifty percent off everything yeah. I buy with this money. Right. Heck yeah, I'm buy, you know, I'm going. Yeah. And so the sales are great and we only are selling until we get through that nine thousand. Mm-hmm. You know, when once we're once that's done, yeah. the the program closes. So you, yeah. you got to get on there, ASAP. Oh, so, Gambles! How can I forget Gambles? Oof. Gambles yeah. is like the selling point. You can get anything at Gambles. Yeah. If they don't have it, they're gonna order it for you. So <laughs> get it at Gambles. Yeah. That's what I. That's like what I say. There's a Gambles is a gun shop. It's like a home improvement store. Yeah. What else? I don't even There's know what else is so there. There's so much stuff, stuff at there. Gambles. Yeah. I got my guitar building stuff from there. So see. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You can get anything. <laughs> Let me jump into chat here real quick because there's a bunch of people that have questions. Uh, Bobby says, hey, Lauren, how you doing? Uh, Volume's good. Um, What's the next one? Jen says, animals, magic. Hi, Bobby. (laughs) Heather and a penguin. All right, that sounds fun. (laughs) It is fun, and it's free. (laughs) Bobby Bobby says, Santa's butt. Um, (laughs) Bobby says, also, she says, I love our farmer's market. The Carol's market was so much fun. Uh, can the Caro Cash be used at the gym? Yeah, at Street yeah. Fitness. Yeah, yeah. Okay, they're, they're, they're on go. the list. They're and on the list. Mark said yes. Jen says awesome. Uh, hi, and Bobby's throwing uh, lots and lots of kissy faces. So. Oh, that's oh. awesome. That. <laughs> <laughs> and I have one of your biggest fans listening over here on YouTube. Kareem is on. Oh my gosh, he my says, husband's here. You two are awesome. Uh, John says, I love the play on words. Uh, he also says, crazy awesome. Uh, Kenneth says, no one puts baby in the corner. Shelby says, can't hear Lauren. Uh, her mic needs to be, now it's fixed, so we got that. Uh, don't shake the baby. <laughs> don't shake the baby either. John says, I would also like to know why the carpet is wet today. Yeah, I know. I love this shirt. I wore it for you. <laughs> Just kidding. Shelby says, you kill, killed Kenny. Oh, my gosh. Lexi says, immediately, uh, immediately, what? I have a question, LOL. Um, not immediately, stupid autocorrect. John says, what carpet? What is that anyway? Uh, Tony says, I love your shirt and everyone, or Kenneth says, Tony, I love your shirt and everyone else is too. Yes. Uh, and huh? who is Todd? That's my question. <laughs> what is this referencing? I'm going to give five bucks to whoever can figure this out. <laughs> there you go. Five there bucks you go. on the table. <laughs> there you go. Uh, Ken also says, I still have the necklace Heather made me and I love it. Oh, thank Aww. you. And it says, I feel bad. I don't know Lauren, and I lived in Carol my whole life. I need to meet her. Hi. <laughs> Lauren's amazing. Trust me. And your husband's <laughs> saying, so proud of my wife. That's so sweet. Oh, my goodness. He's so sweet. <laughs> Kareem says, is amazing, too. John says, so it turns out my TV was not broke. I had a corrupt update installed, so it reinstalled. Okay. All right. And uh, Cream says, Tony and Heather miss you guys. And Scarface Gaming is joining in all the way over. All the way over there. In the UK. Across the pond. Across the pond. Yeah. So thank you for tuning in. Yes. We miss you too. We have, we have people all over the world tuning in. So it's That's awesome. awesome. So. I guess I have a question <clears throat> on the uh, Caro Cash. How yeah. does it expire or is there a time on it? That's a good question because I didn't really do a good job explaining what the heck is going on, but I'm trying. So and they're, they're <laughs> distracting. I don't know if you guys catch that, but they are distracting. Oh, oh, me? Yeah. This Blah. mic is... <laughs> so... <laughs> We started selling, I don't know. You know what? That wasn't the question. We just started selling on Monday, right? (laughs) And whatever day that was, December 1st, maybe? I think so. So it goes all the way till December 31st. Okay. So we're selling till December 20th, but the 
gift certificates are good till December 31st, 2021. And uh, a lot of the businesses, though, are allowing you to buy gift certificates or gift cards at their business with the Carol Cash, which is nice because oh, yeah. awesome. then it's going to sit there. And, you know, there's even a salon that says, like, how is she working it? I'm not going to get it. I'm so packed right now. I'm not getting anybody in. I'm already setting appointments for January. Wow. And I said, and she said, I'm going to figure it out because I want to accept the Carol Cash. I want to be a part of this. You know, I wanna, oh, cool. because it helps the community. Mm-hmm. It helps her people that are coming in anyway. So why not? Right. Yeah. And they get. Oh gosh, I'm going to run to my car. <laughs> Where's my camera? Okay, they'll have something kind of like that, but it's yellow. Can you see that? Yeah. Yes, yes. It'll be in the store window. So we That's accept nice Carol Cash. Too, which is great. Really? Yeah. yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> Broadcasting in 1080p. That's like so cool. That. Yeah, so I made that too, which is cool. I'm yeah. like, like, I love that I get to do stuff like that. The it's design fun. work and the media mm-hmm. stuff. But I think the most amazing thing that we're doing this entire weekend is... Um, the free toy distribution. Oh, really? So yes. we got a semi truck full of toys dropped off at oh, St. Wow. Christopher's Catholic Church here in Carroll. It's right on Frank Street. Yep. Behind the Carroll Library. So it's the parish center, not the actual church. You have to come to the farmer's market either Friday night, six to nine, or Saturday morning, nine to one, and get your ticket. And it's completely free. I'm not gonna take all kind of information. You know, usually when you get free stuff, they want all like your income statement. I don't need that. I just want you to come to the market, grab a ticket, see what we got going on. Then on Saturday morning from 11 to 2, they'll be passing out the tickets at the parish center. And I was there for the unload. That time I was full. We got over 5,000 toys. Holy cow. Yeah, and they're all brand new. There's boxes and boxes of Legos. It was amazing. Total gift. It was such a blessing to be a part of, like, unloading it. And we had a huge crew. So the pictures of that, I think those are on the Carroll Farmer's Market page, too. So we're doing a lot of great stuff uh, in the community, and I'm really so thankful to be a part of it, for sure. So the market, the Candy Cane Lane Farm and Arts Market, Friday from 6 to 9, and then Saturday, 9 to 1. Get your ticket for the toys. Bring the kids. They're supposed to go there with the with you. So bring your kids to St. Christopher's to pick up your free toys. And I think it's three to four toys per kid. Oh, wow. wow. Which is amazing. That is like the hugest blessing. Hugest? That's not a word. <laughs> <laughs> That's not <laughs> biggest? Hugest? Whatever. No, I like the word hugest. <laughs> largest is fine, too. I don't get very emotional on this show. It's usually Survivor Girl, but that really does hit me like right in the feels. Uh, growing up with a single parent, um, one of the Christmases, we had to have help with toys and whatnot. And my uncle being in the service, he said that he would go and deliver if they would help us at the very last minute to get us toys for Christmas. So something like that is huge, especially, you know, all the things that we're facing. Yeah. Definitely. So yeah, that's a, that's a big thing. So if you she guys get a chance. <laughs> oh, <laughs> am I on there still? Yeah. I'm, I'm messing yeah. with the camera right when I'm not on. There you go. <laughs> it is, it, it is definitely like a hit you in the feels thing yeah. to be on one side and then be able to jump to the other. Like, We've been adopted and we've done toys for tots in my house. I was a single mama for yeah. uh, for a very long time and just recently got remarried to my beautiful, wonderful, amazing husband, Kareem. And, uh, you know, I, I don't need as much support for the holidays uh, and being able to give back to the community after feeling like I've been a recipient mm-hmm. before most of my life. Like, this is an amazing thing to be a part of. Yeah. So. And, and that's because I'm slow. I want to go back for a second <clears throat> when you were talking about... The the nine thousand dollars that uh, Consumers Energy donated, yeah, uh, and you said that's doubled, right? Exactly. So that's eighteen thousand yep. dollars into the community. Wow, that's right. Yeah, and holy pumped, shit! I feel like I I kind of like got this vision, which I'm not doing any peyote or smoking anything <laughs> either. Like, like I got this vision when I was talking to. Uh, I can't name the business because they haven't signed yet, but I'm really excited to sign them because they sell really cool motorcycle parts and things like that. So. Um, I'm talking to them and I said, I had this vision of like a heart pumping, Mm -hmm. like it's money, but like blood through the veins. And I feel like that's what I'm a part of. Like we're pumping the Mm -hmm. life back into Carol. Yeah. These different things that we're doing in the city and like this partnership with the chamber of commerce in the city is definitely really an amazing partnership. And we have access to a lot of assistance through the city. Like the DPW guys are phenomenal like yeah. you should see them working they're all over the oh, place yeah. they're stringing lights here moving gingerbreads there putting barricades up going to check water things at people's houses i don't even know that part of their job because they're so involved with right like the community stuff yeah. too so 
and everybody's on board all these businesses and stuff that the the boards from the dda and the the village council or city council here we call it um they're all involved um gosh dang it jill white's business uh garden gate bed and breakfast and the embroidery business so she's on board as a participating business as well carol uh Office machines. Nice. Um, that office machines place downtown yeah. under Mike Bowerschmidt. He just signed up. So wow. definitely getting everybody in on the action. That's we cool. want to be able to. I'm going to the. Gosh, I, I wish I could tell you everything. <laughs> <laughs> going to the vets. We're going to the chiropractor. I'm getting the florists on board. You know, we want everybody. We yeah. really do want to pump life into all the businesses. And yeah, that's absolutely. Kinda like, yeah, that's like my heart. You know, but the, but the giveaway that's huge too. That you is. know, doubling people's money, giving away toys. You know, having these free Santa breakfasts, uh, breakfasts, <laughs> it's all part of what we're doing. So. That's so cool. And for so long, we've needed this. This town has felt like, where's the heartbeat at? Where is it at? I right. mean, they've had the pumpkin festivals. They've had gingerbread. But I didn't feel like there was so much more with the community. I mean, you've worked hard to get in the community to get the uh, thumb body for rides to... Yeah. Yeah, you know all of that stuff. There's I'm glad you brought that so up. Much, yeah, we're actually working more on that for next year. So this year we did a pilot program. We didn't have a lot of ridership, but we started really small. So the uh, human development here in Cairo, um, they also run the program for the Thumb Body Bus Express. So we got with them through the Thumb or just call a food access collaborative. So there's a group of people that are working on food access in our community mm -hmm. and throughout our state, obviously, you know, but through that meeting with the Tuscola County food access collaborative, which there's lots of members and a lot of people really doing their, their work. Uh, I was able to meet Brian and he runs the uh, thumb body express. He's like the head director of that. Mm -hmm. And we came up with this idea, idea, like let's get people to the market at no cost. Yeah. You know, there it's obviously they're incurring a cost and things, but we want to see how this runs. And, and if we can build on that, we're going to be able to get more people to the market mm -hmm. yeah. either for low cost or free. And, and they're going to be able to use their bridge card and yeah. the senior project fresh and the WIC project fresh coupons for food at the market and that is huge that is huge we don't have a lot of options and which is surprising because we do yeah we live in a rural community and there's a lot of people growing in food mm -hmm. but but we don't have a lot of access to this food right you know and we need to have it right downtown where there is the most centralized it's the most centralized location for um the population mm -hmm. of caro is yep. in the downtown area so we want to make sure that those people have access to fresh healthy local food and Again, local is the big thing because it's pumping right. the blood mm -hmm. through the veins of Carol. You yeah. pay, you buy your uh, honey, you buy your maple syrup, you buy your gifts and stuff like that, your so crafts good. from people. They're going to spend it here too. Yep. So yep. it's just going to, it's like a rotating circle of this is building our community. And, yeah, and, uh, awesome. and those free rides on the bus, we were hitting places that um, we know of that are like low income housing mm -hmm. and then senior centers and things. So yeah. we want to develop that for next year and hopefully be able to offer it all throughout the season Yeah, as ugh, like a, I can't call it a route because they can't <laughs> have routes through them. They have to be call a ride. But if it's uh, a contracted thing mm -hmm. and we pay for it or we get a grant or however we want to do that, it's about $4,500 wow. for us to run throughout the entire season, every Saturday, offering a free bus. So we are accepting donations for that. Okay. Probably starting at the end of January, I'm going to be working on a program where we're going to be, it's going to be a fund that people can de deposit money into oh, that's so cool. that we can get some free rides for people. And there's people out here too that are not, you know, they don't suffer with low income issues. Mm -hmm. You know, they're all different uh, age ranges and economical statuses here in Carroll. So yeah, I don't want to target them, but I'm saying if you know them, <laughs> <laughs> tell them to send the money because <laughs> we want to be able to do that. Speaking oh, of sending cool. money, quick yeah. question. Bobby says, what's the website to buy the cash? So you can okay. buy the Caro cash at carochamber.com. Chamber, Click on the top tab. If it's on your phone, you're going to see that menu up in the left-hand side. It's like the three bars menu. Click that button. Uh, if it's not and you're on your computer, it's just the Caro Cash tab at the top. Click Caro Cash, and uh, it'll be like a drop-down screen on your phone where you press Buy Now. You can buy two gift certificates per person, so that's a total of $50. We're going to double that, and you're going to have $100 when you bring me 
your uh, receipt of purchase on your phone or printed email. So when you get that email that confirms that you purchased it, you just bring it to me at City Hall and come see me. I'll make it rain all over you. <laughs> How could uh, Dr. Shelson's office be a part of that if they were wanting to jump on? Yeah, because that would be a really cool thing for yeah, a lot that's of people. The natural, the yeah, natural death, right? The one yeah. that we go and see, and that would be a really yes. cool, oh cool thing gosh. to have. Definitely. So we yeah. are definitely signing more people up. If you're a business that's interested, you can hit me up uh, on the Carol Farmers Market page, the Facebook page. Just message that page uh, with your email, and I will email you the documents. You fill that. One little, I mean, it's super simple. It's a registration form. It's your your name, the business name, the address where I send your money after the program's done. And uh, I think the date, that's it. That's all I need from you. You just fill that stuff out, send it back to me, uh, either on Facebook or on the email, which is L Amalel. That's L A M E L L A L L A M E L L A L at Caro, C A R O city.net and we'll get you registered to be a participating business and you can uh feel that blood pumping through carol that way yeah. that is so awesome this is really cool we're really glad that you and all the city that everybody is working together for this to bring back i mean there was the splash the splash pad <sighs> came in fun. the you know the farmer's market was new this season yeah. i mean it's the dog park the, the dog, dog park. park i mean yeah. it that is very cool to see all this stuff coming together and as far as the farmer's market and being able to accept wick and uh, the bridge card and all that stuff that's huge it is huge and Sweet. to get good food for people you know yeah. i don't i'm not all about numbers but i think numbers are important and for us to have only started accepting the bridge card in october mm -hmm. and to hit almost fifteen hundred dollars in sales wow. for food yeah that's a huge deal so yeah. you know every dollar counts because it is staying local mm -hmm. right you, you can go to walmart and use your bridge card you can go to vg's and use bridge card, or you can also use it at the farmer's market where yes. you can get farm fresh produce and if you don't know anything about farm fresh produce there's a difference because those are nutrient packed like they're nutrient dense mm -hmm. foods for the most part it's yes. going to have usually 60 to 80 percent more nutrients in yes. a fresh food than what you're going to get at uh something that's traveled over 500 miles to get to you yeah. so and eating local is very good for your body too because your body actually absorbs the nutrients differently yes. what? so and that's the the cool part about the farmer's market to give it another shout out really quick is there was so much great produce from the local farmers i mean there was everything you possibly want yeah. they had yellow tomatoes they had those were my favorite purple tomatoes <laughs> they had all kinds of different colored peppers and yeah. onions and like when halloween rolled around it was the little gourds <laughs> different they had a, yeah. a white pumpkin i like, love the little white pumpkins they're like yeah just, you could hold them in your hand i still have those they're <laughs> so adorable <laughs> they're cute for but crafts the, there was honey there was coffee there was teas yeah. i mean so many different things Fresh you, baked bread. I can't even think of all this stuff. I mean, it would take me all day to list yeah. all the different kinds of things. And you partnered with the local businesses like The Harvest for every Saturday for mm -hmm. coffee. Right. Free coffee for the community who doesn't yeah. love that and for the vendors. Like, I, it's really for me, but I let you guys have some. <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate that because it's early morning. Yeah. <laughs> definitely appreciate but we, that. we appreciate the harvester craft yeah. definitely megan is amazing and for her to have like the support and i think next year she might be coming out to the market with like a cart yeah nice. but that would be great too be, be you nice. know nice. i think it would be cool too if we had like book like if she's like giving out books or something like used books i don't know i've got yeah. all kinds of deals for the market but i'm one person and i <laughs> that's why i might always like hey Tony, hey, Kareem, 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 Kareem. You know, that's my husband's name. So I'm always at Shelby and at MD, Robert. Like, I'm like always needing somebody to help because yeah. there's so much to do. And, and they're always yeah. right there for it because it really is. It's a community experience. It's mm -hmm. not just like the, the Lauren show or the Heather show. It's like it's for everyone. So, yeah. But that was the cool part about it, though, is like getting there at like 6 a.m. just to go through and set up tables and chairs. Yeah. And how many different mornings where the rain didn't exactly quite make it through all the way. And we're putting right. up canopies and getting hosed. Yeah. <laughs> well, people come rolling in at like 7, 7.30, and they're like, why are you guys all wet? <laughs> right? <laughs> so Just, seriously, they, thank you so much for that opportunity to help connect with people in the community and bring something like Carol Cash, like the mm -hmm. Farmer's Market. Seriously, thank you so much for that. 
Yeah, for sure. It's amazing. I'm glad. I'm glad. I don't know how it happens that way, but we definitely, it's like just, it just drops in our lap and we gotta, we gotta be good stewards of it. You mm-hmm. know? Absolutely. Like if this opportunity happened with anybody else, I don't know if I would think that they were good stewards of it. You know, like right. this is, this is stuff that we, this is a great opportunity for me as well. Like I feel really blessed to be able to do that for the community and be a part of it. Cause that's, it is a lot of work, but it's what I'm cut out for, right. you know? And then you, when you find that, you're like, all right, I'm just going to have to do it. Even if it means I'm working 70 hours. Lauren is it. definitely a badass. So she's going to need a vacation for sure after all of that. But yeah. I have to say, you know, with the with the farmer's market uh, joining on and doing the first little bit that because there is different options. And I had people constantly asking me that. Well, how much is it? What is it? And I would say, just get a hold of Lauren. So I didn't want to mess it up and give them the wrong information. Yeah. There's first definitely- and foremost. I was like, nope, get a hold of Lauren. I because it could change. I don't know. Right. But um, we did the five, I think, to begin with, and I did so well. The yeah. community supported so they were so amazing. Yeah. They kept me going so much, and I I did very well. So I I am looking forward to next year for sure because Absolutely. it was fun. I had a lot of people that were asking for customs. And I was able to do that for them because I wasn't really crazy busy. So it, it made me feel good to see that and have people that kept coming back and were like repeat customers. I'm like, <laughs> this is pretty cool, you yeah. know. So now That's I see d- different pieces around town. I'm like, oh, there's mine. That's cool. <laughs> like I made that. That's, awesome. That's cool. So Thank I like you. that. That is cool. No, it's a, so to, I mean, like it wasn't like a direct question, but you were saying it's different for different vendors or different things. And we have, I offered a lot of different packages. So when people signed up, I had the daily drop in, we had the month. Um, We also kind of switched it up when we had the Wednesday. So then now it wasn't like a month of consecutive vendorship. Um, Every Saturday we were offering like a five day special where you pay for four, you get one free. Um, And so those are all different things that we started the first year really to to get vendors to trust us, right. you know, to, and yeah. to get them to get started because we want you to, we want people to see that their business can be Absolutely. successful at the market, but also we want them to transition into brick and mortar businesses. Eventually, you know, if you, if you feel like that's your calling is to create, maybe there's three other people that are creating and you're getting a store together in the next couple of years. Yeah. You know, I used to own and operate the Romeo farmers market and we had several vendors that went from, you know, uh, being vendors at the market. Yeah to either opening a restaurant and selling their different sauces and things like that and and really honing in on their skills Mm -hmm. which is beautiful to watch yeah somebody you know this guy had started with uh one barbecue sauce and he went through the product center at msu extension um and he learned how to do all the labeling and everything that was required to be a shelf stable product and then he started his own barbecue restaurant down in Romeo. Wow. Um, JL Smokehouse. Yeah. And so it was kind of, it was amazing to watch because he came for one event and I was like, I love your products. Yeah. He's like, really? And I said, yeah. And I think you need to expand. And so he, he was doing dry rubs and all kinds of stuff. And then he's calling me like, we only want to serve farm fresh meat. Mm-hmm. And I, you know, I said, well, I can come in and we can look over your menu, but that's where it doesn't. My job doesn't end with just the market. Right. I want to support my vendors to yes. see them become successful. So it was it was really amazing to watch the transition <clears throat> where he was like a couple sauces and some seasoning packets to now he wants to purchase, you know, a whole cow and, and purchase a whole like 10 pigs. And he's doing all these different pork roasts and, and ch- chicken barbecues and graduation parties and stuff. And it's like, yes, we win. <laughs> yeah. You know, when the small business wins, the small man wins, you know. Yeah. That's what was really cool at the farmer's market, Lauren. And you made a point to let every vendor know. Uh, if you're here for a duration, we're going to do a vendor spotlight on you. And mm-hmm. it was so freaking cool that you went to every single vendor and was like, all right, I need your information, what it is you sell, so we can go through and do a spotlight. Right. And you brought the local news there. Oh, yeah. And that was when Heather jumped on the camera and she's like, come to the market. <laughs> she really did an amazing job, too. Because, like, being on the news is weird, right? It like, they, weird. they talk to you for, like, 15 minutes, but they use, like, a total of one and a half seconds yeah. right. at a time of it what was. you said. But it's awesome because it, it made us look great. Like, they, you did a great job. Oh, thank you. You I did, did too. Pretty, I did pretty good. It was yeah. definitely my first time on that TV. That was mine, too. That was my first time. <laughs> I was like, you just keep talking. And I'll answer your questions and you take whatever you want. Yeah. Just the good stuff, stuff, though. And I even ended up talking that guy into buying something from 
me too, the reporter. I'm sure you didn't have to talk and talk to him, you know, too much about that. Yeah. He saw it and he was like, "Yes, I yeah. want that." So it was cool. I was like, "Wow!" Well, and I looked at Tony. I was like, I "Made a sale too." <laughs> yeah. That works. You know? That was our opening day, wasn't yeah, it? That it was. was so yeah. We had. So that yeah. was a weekend that Cars and Crafts was supposed to go off, but yes. because of all the COVID stuff. Yeah, that wah, didn't happen. Wah, wah, wah. But yeah, it's. I mean, it happens. But we still had over fourteen hundred people come that day. It that was, was like, awesome. I, it blew my mind. Like my mom was like, <laughs> yeah. like I didn't ever see. I can yeah. I never even see this many people at Walmart. Like, <laughs> yeah. It was awesome. It was awesome. It was very cool. Um, and we definitely had so much support. And after we were on the news, people mm -hmm. are coming on from all over the place. Yeah. Like, like, oh, where are you from? You know, because they didn't yeah. look like they were from Carroll or yeah. they were not somebody I, I was familiar with. And uh, I'm from Lapeer. I'm from Washington Township. I'm from Florida. And we're up here and we heard about this great market. And right. I was like, people are like, people are talking. Yeah. And that's amazing. It's it's really good. Um, but I think that next year we're going to just continue to see a bigger, like, more vendors and more people yes. shopping and yes. more people, like, curious about what's going on. And I'm hoping to start the weekend before Mother's Day so we can hit you know, people that are shopping for mom and grandma yeah. and everything like that. Yeah, and, that would be really cool. Definitely. We had a flower day this year before our, our actual opening. I, man, that was a quick, like, the building's ready. Have an event. Yes, sir. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, uh, go introduce yourself to everyone in the community and get them to sell stuff. I'm like, all right, here we go. You know, but we had a lot of support from the ISD, too. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Yeah. The Tuscola yeah. ISD designing our logo and, and creating this, fabricating and creating that sign that we have up on the building out of the saw blade. Such a cool saw Holy blade camoli, thing. that's amazing, you know. Yeah. I can't even think of what else they did. They did so much other stuff, and then... Um, we are just so lucky to have them. So, oh, from the ISD, we had the uh, FFA. Yes. So they have an ag a great agricultural program there. And uh, Jeremy is the teacher for that, the instructor for that. And he brought, like, honey and eggs and flowers and everything for the first, like, month of our market. But then his season really kicks off over there. And it's yep. like, you know, I know you got to do what you got to do, brother. So we're going to yeah. be here. If you want to come again, you come. Yeah. You know, you're welcome anytime. H him and his kids were amazing. And just seeing just... Just everybody working together, you know, like in yeah. the fall when everybody, we've got pumpkins, mm -hmm. like a crazy amount of pumpkins and 10 people are unloading one big, huge trailer full of pumpkins. That, that was insane. Awesome. It went so quick, that. like all of that stuff. And we yeah. moved the bowling and all of the, <laughs> but you know, I, I come to find that like people were very good at helping each other out, helping their neighbor out yeah. at the market. And that was really welcoming to yeah. be able, and then when we get somebody new, we'd inter you'd, inter you'd introduce them, and everybody would be like, hey, what do you got? What do you, <laughs> you know, which was really cool. It was a very friendly market and Definitely. family. I felt like that was a, a big thing. Yeah. And when you have that kind of, you know, camaraderie or whatever, it, it goes well with the community to see how well we're like, hey, go check out the <laughs> so-and-so. They've got this. If that's what you're looking for, it was right. a lot of that. It wasn't like... Well, I have it. Just, I yeah. have this. No, yeah, I'm, I'm going to stand here. I have this, and and you're if you don't want it, then you know <laughs> we're done for the day. No, like oh. they're like, hey, Michelle's got that, or <laughs> you know they're coming over, and and Heather's got that, and Tina's got soap, and what are you, you know, what are you looking for? And if it can accompany or complement your product, yeah. all the better, mm -hmm. you know. And sometimes we'll have vendors that have similar products, and I try not to put them right next to each other, but I'll see them going like, oh my gosh, you have this hand spun wool right like you you dyed this wool yeah like, that yeah, was cool that's amazing <laughs> yeah you know and and it was it was definitely a big hit and it, it is nice to be part of the the farmer's market family yeah. mm -hmm. um i think people definitely could feel that when they came i don't know yeah. bobby if you're still on could you feel that when you came <laughs> did, you feel did you feel that i know bobby was like there a lot she was definitely it was definitely family and when we had the food trucks and stuff mm -hmm. like, oh god we got really lucky with who we had because i felt like they were really supportive of the market too. nikki's kitchen oh god they make a hell of a Oof. breakfast burrito yeah they do and that that was the thing is i really wanted to, to to point that out too is you encouraged it but through that encouragement almost all of the vendors were like go check out this person because mm -hmm. i remember one of the the, the vendors meetings yeah. you're like okay give me two seconds what are you selling today and like everybody jumped on, which yep. was great. So like, oh, I got one. I got one. <laughs> right. Yeah. It was so cool to see that. 
But it yeah, was cool and, to be able to do that too and be yeah. like, oh, so they have that down there. So yeah. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> Bobby just chimed in. She said, <laughs> I feel it. I love coming there after work and getting fed. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I can hear that oh too. Goodness, yeah, crazy. I can hear that. Well, and she's oh. Italian too, so there's yeah. that. Right? <laughs> that is true. I think she's Sicilian. I don't know if that's different. Like the same you know. it's it's a, it's a apart i don't know i might be wrong Who forget knows? about it that's so it. much <laughs> over here on youtube that i gotta catch up on here john guest uh it's the national lampoon's christmas vacation the answer is don't know margo <laughs> <laughs> kind of says oh legos goodness. uh yes let's go to tony's house and play with all of his legos make a mess and leave <laughs> I don't what the hell? <laughs> that's what we're doing after uh, this, actually. <laughs> that's the plan. Uh, Kenneth says, I don't have any kid kids. Oops. And uh, Kareem's joining in says, she put Caro on the map and other communities will learn from this immensely. Yes. So much hard work put into this. Believe me, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Great show, guys. Awesome. And also, Kenneth says, Roy's cat just scared the shit out of me. <laughs> She's stalking me. And I want a purple tomato. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, he says, sold asparagus from our garden and sold out every time. Oh, my God. Yeah. That asparagus was amazing. <laughs> it was good. Oh, Kenneth says, is it this Saturday? <laughs> oh, man. So the it's a Farm and Arts Candy Cane Lane Farm and Arts Market is this Saturday from 9 to 1 in downtown Carroll at 238 South State Street. That's 9 to 1 at 238 South State Street. I'm not guaranteeing there's going to be any produce. I'm not going to lie to you. It's winter in Michigan. But we're going to have, like, maple syrup. I think the coffee ladies come in. We're going to have lots of baked goods. So that's the one thing we didn't talk about at, oh, at yeah. the vendors. We had, like, so many I don't baked know, goods. 50 to 100 varieties of different baked goods. Cupcakes, yeah. sugar cookies, like, I don't even know. Like, I the ate it at all, but I don't know what it was. <laughs> it was good. Oh, the popcorn guy. Yeah. Slappy Pappies. Now, he's, like, famous. I don't know if you guys know that. Yeah. But he's thumb famous. Really? So, no. we live in the thumb of Michigan? Yes. Yes, we do. <laughs> I don't know if you... Uh, what hand is it? Michigan map is so it's easy. Right it's convenient. <laughs> I lost my headphones. I don't know what I did. Uh-oh. But... <laughs> it's okay. Can you still hear me? Yes. Everybody can hear you. Shoot. All right. We might have unplugged somewhere. Uh, just give it a good. Yank. I got it. <laughs> All right, there you I'll go. wiggle the cord a little. <laughs> just wiggle my way. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the baked goods were amazing, so that was great. I just uh, saw that they had pictures of their Christmas cookies. Are they are they going to be there? The ones that had the sugar cookies. Kendra and Morgan. Yes, yeah. they're going to be there. KM Design. I think it's KM Designs. Gosh, you yeah. guys, I'm terrible with names of businesses. Kenny's but... cookies. I don't know. I, there was a little like paper that had that on there. It's possible. They're awesome. They made so many good pink. I know. I just stay away from them because I'm an addict. So I was like, no, no. They're like, do you want to trade something? <laughs> no, <laughs> no. You should see I my blame husband. you guys oh for God. the 10 pounds. No. <laughs> the 10 pounds. Yeah. Try 25 that I got. <laughs> oh my gosh. Markets. Like I'm eating lettuce and then I'm having like an entire tray of the uh, chocolate brownies with the uh, nuts and the uh, I don't even know marshmallow cream or something. It so, was so many good. good things. But yeah, uh, the popcorn guy, he is really fun famous. Like, yeah. He's been all over to all the different markets. He's been doing it for years and years. And for him to participate um, in all the kids' days, giving free popcorn. That was cool. Love that free was awesome. stuff. People love free stuff. Yeah, I love do. free stuff. I love giving. Yes. I love being like, here's your free stuff. It's you fun know? to give. Like, that's a fun. whole nother good feeling to be like, here you go. This is for you. And you get this, too. Yeah. And the I kids' mean. days were fun having different crafts. So we were involved with all different kinds of organizations. The Carroll Library came out and made buttons. The Carroll Garden Club came and did their sculpting thing. Actually, on my desk right now, I have to uh, submit these different uh, Woodsy Owl posters. Oh, cool. So we had them out for the, the recycle day and Woodsy Owl and the fire truck and all that happened. And... Uh, so people are submitting their posters, I think, until January 1st. You oh, have to cool. enter the Carroll Garden Club contest. But they make the Woodsy Owl and Smokey Bear contest posters. And then they have, like, an opportunity to win. And that goes nationwide. Like, you get the, awesome. the local, then regional, then state. Then re it's, it's freaking awesome. 
So that's Heck very yeah. cool. Could you very imagine cool. being eight years old and like painting a picture of an owl and winning 150 bucks or whatever? It is? Um, yeah, I want to do that. I only got I only got a second place one for my. I, we did a like a wildlife poster and I got like second place, but there was no cash involved back Aww. then. No give payola, me, so kids a get to it. Freaking Mona Lisa owl. <laughs> Oh gosh. And uh Cream says Lauren made me build a huge garden, LOL. <laughs> made you. <laughs> the truth. There's more here. There's so much more. Oh my gosh. Don't read it. Cream delete that. <laughs> uh oh. Uh Lexi says I'm having a serious conversation with my favorite cuzzo and he literally sent me a meme saying, Are you sure about that? And I died laughing. John said Tony had a garden, but he killed it like Pennywise. I didn't kill it. I, I ate the so. shit out of my garden. I was going to say, yeah, there was lots of good produce. Here's the thing. <laughs> I supported 18 families this year with just my 10 boxes of garden. Put that in your juice box. There you go. Boom. There you go. <laughs> uh, also, he says, sorry to hear that. At least he didn't float. <laughs> they all float down here. Uh, let me see here. I'm going to be watching it after this. I love the new remake. It's awesome. Okay, so they're going back and forth with that. Uh, what else do we have? I have a ton of stuff over here. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> also, Cream says it was a success. A success story. I can't even say a it. What? Success a what? Success story. You there we go. You did your cup for how many jelly beans? <laughs> Not. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> oh, and John says, unfortunately, I don't have any body part that looks like Texas. Okay. All right. All right, you guys. Interesting. You crazy bag of weirdos. <laughs> Bobby chimes in and says, I love coming to find out new things and hang out with friends. And she says she's Maltese. Maltese. Uh, yes. Jen says, uh, they were even gluten-free gluten -free bakery options. There yeah. were. Uh, Kenna says hi to Jen. Jen says hi to Kenna. <laughs> Uh, Kenneth says, how are you doing? I love our community. Right? It's amazing. Uh, and they were uh, always across from us, too, with a no bake cookies. Yes. Our booth buddies were amazing. Oh, they were, too. I uh, loved the tradesies, too, that we <laughs> Oh, God, yes. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. That was fun. Uh, Kenneth said, or Kenneth, yeah. Kenneth says, uh, I'm doing all right. Thank you for asking. My dad is still tuned in. Also tuned in. Oh, Heck yeah, nice. thanks. Yeah. Hey. Uh, Bobby says, way to go, Tony. And Jen says, awesome. Do they have a set time? Or are you looking to go live with the moon hits? Oh, we're replying to Ken. Okay, gotcha. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. I think we got caught up. If I missed some of the stuff on YouTube, I just kind of skimmed over some of the conversation back and forth between you guys. Like I said, you guys are a bag of wit mixed weirdos. I can't even talk now. It's from falling. <laughs> From falling by the penguins. No, it's eating Santa ass. Something new. Yeah. Something new there. Nope. Nope. I ain't looking to home wreck. Mrs. Claus. <laughs> Mrs. Claus and me are good. She could take you, I'm sure. I'm, I'm sure she Mrs. Could. Claus would shit in your stocking. Honestly, just anybody oh. could. Anybody could. Yeah, and throw coal. Coal. <laughs> oh my God. That's anyway. reindeer poop. <laughs> reindeer poop. All right. I oh think gosh. I found it. I think I found it on Google, but yeah. Okay. Uh, Christmas Vacation, National Lampoons. I don't know Margot. So uh, you, it, yeah. there's definitely a conversation of why is the carpet all wet, Todd? And she's, I don't know Margot. Like, I'm going to have to watch that again. Yes. I don't know. I would like to know why this is, why the carpet's all wet. This is going to be my ugly sweater for <laughs> the uh, Christmas party. I approve. Uh, I mean, it's a good start. This yeah. is just the canvas. Oh, okay. This is the canvas oh, for the ugly so you're sweater. Oh, add stuff. You have to yeah, your swag. I, you gotta get you. This is amazing. I got oh. these like 1964 uh, placemats, <laughs> like hand sewn grandma placemats, yes. and they're oval with the ruffles on the edge and stuff. Oh, I'm gonna gosh. cut that in half, and I'm gonna give myself some nice Michael Jackson yeah. shoulder pads. Put yourself. Yeah, I was gonna say put some in there too. Yeah. So you're yeah. like. Yeah. The whole thing. I don't know what else I'm going to do. I was thinking maybe make a butt flap with. <laughs> I really don't know. It's fantastic. But it's going to all be attached to the sweater. I can't mm -hmm. wait because I'm going to win. The, you know what the prize is? What? Carol Cash. Fuck what? yeah. Yeah. And, did you just say the F word? Yes, he did. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I'm going to win Carol Cash. And fluff, yeah. My boss better. got an ugly sweater trophy. It will be the first trophy ever that I win. Yes. Yes. I'm going to win. You're going to do it. That's right. I believe it. That's right. You so, have no idea. Yeah. If you have any ideas for ugly sweaters, I do. Gra old Grandma Candy. <laughs> candy. Yeah. Like, you know. Like, <laughs> like the butter the hard candy. With hair on do you it? want me to, like, lick it Just and stick like it? Just lick it and stick glue it on there. So, old Grandma Candy. <laughs> Oh you know the kind gosh. where you lift up one piece, you're like, oh, that's candy, and it all comes up. Oh, my yeah. gosh. You know what's terrible? Be because ugly. I didn't know all grandmas did that. 
<laughs> but my true. grandma had the candy thing, it's and it was true. like all different hard candies, and you're like, there's yeah. four. Okay. <laughs> like, why is it? But you don't question why they're you all don't. stuck together as a kid. You just eat the five candies mm-hmm. and whatever. Four no, candies. it's a trap. No, it's a trap. It's a trap because, like, the I, old ribbon I candy. Think for I think Christmas. it's grandma sleep medicine. Okay. I think, like, she's like, here, take this, go to sleep. Go to sleep. <laughs> Here's the problem with that. So, it, the, the candy that I had with my aunt's house, because she'd always have like the hard candy with the multiple colors. Yeah. Well, in the bottom of that, she had Tums. Oh. Tums, like the Rolaids, Tums. You had a special grandma. Yeah. I didn't have that. Yeah, here's yeah, the crazy part understand. about it. So me and my cousin like ate the whole freaking bowl. And it was like a bowl like this, right? She was giving you medicine for your heartburn. You yeah, ate well, it all. Here's the problem Probably. with that. It had gone sour and so Ew. did our stomachs. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> no. I remember one. <laughs> we were tagging each other. It's like, you got the toilet, I got the top. Oh, you know what I'm wondering? Awful. If it's, if she put that in there, like you put crackers in with your sugar to <laughs> get to hold I the moisture. That. No, mm-hmm. it didn't work. Not like that. Huh? Well, if it I went died. sour, you I weren't died. supposed to eat them, Tony. No. I, well, don't oh. put it in the candy jar. Hello. Just, um, you're right. You're yeah, right. you got a good point. I remember one time when we were going with my grandma, and in the back, I started, I like took a drink and it went down the wrong pipe. Anyway, she goes, she goes oh, I got a candy for you. Here you go. And she hands it to me, and I look at it. And it's like a butterscotch. I'm like, all right, not my favorite, but I'll take it because it's grandma. And I start to unwrap it, and I'm like, there's a lot of lint in this. <laughs> And she's like, how's your candy? I'm like, it's it's wonderful. Like, trying to pretend to not, like, hurt her feelings, but I'm like, I'm not. Rolled out the window and yeeted out the window. <laughs> Bam. Thanks, Grandma. God. Love you. <laughs> so I, oh, do you want another? No, no, I'm good. <laughs> oh nope, so that is not just a just a one yes. grandma. I think that's several of the yes. one no, candy. not okay. When I'm a grandma, I'm not doing that. No. I'm going to be a grandma just to do that. Give me the nasty. We're gonna adopt kids the nasty now. Candy, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's what you get. My grandma used to give this us. This is why we can't have nice things, Heather. <laughs> <laughs> My grandma used to give us those big, big, big candy canes, like the really. Yeah. yeah, she would give those, and we'd all be so pissed off. And now I'm just like, I just want one of those candy canes. This is like weird. Jen says, "Wasn't the carpet wet at the neighbor's house because the lampoon tree?" Went through their window. Oh, that's probably it. I don't know. You know, God, Bert, I the, sw- never. I was gonna say I smoked <laughs> way too much weed back in the day. <laughs> no, hey, past is past. I mean, it was a while ago, right, but right. I don't even know if. I mean, I watched those movies, but I don't remember. There was something about she wrapped up the damn cat. Now that, that is a line I'm I gonna do remember. remember. That she wrapped up the damn cat. <laughs> like I love that. Was that you're picking on me for Initiative Impossible because I yes. wore my little like furry flap hat and you're yes. like feeling cute might. Empty the shitter later. <laughs> like, Thanks, man. Thanks. All right, Thanks. so I never do this, but I want to. I'm going to give you guys a present. What's up? Uh-huh. It's a randomly odd thing. Okay. okay. So before I came today, I had Chinese food because I was, I don't know, wonton soup sounds good. Doesn't wonton sounds soup sound really good? Sounds really good right now. And that new Asian gourmet place, I heard they were great. Wonton soup, okay, not the best I've had, but right. they have fortune cookies there. Okay. So I thought maybe... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we would have a good fortune. Huh? At least we could find out what Tony's future looks like. So here we go. All right. Oh, oh no! I can't. Bad, bad fortune that. Way. Oh yeah. I'm a, I'm a firm believer. Like this one, yes. the one that was at the. It was the second one down. This is the one she gave me. So this is meant for me because right. the lady at yeah. the Chinese restaurant. <laughs> it is your it to me. <laughs> what is your future? <laughs> Here's the problem that I have with these fortune cookies because the one that I got, uh, do you remember, uh, what was it, the, the, the first Chinese place that was over there by Wendy's, right? Yeah. So it yeah, went there. China King. China King, thank mm-hmm. you. They were good. So I got a fortune cookie and I'm opening it up. I'm like, this is great because I get all these really cool fortune cookies. It says, you're going to die today. And I'm like, what the <laughs> You fuck? lie. I swear fortune. to God. That's a terrible thing fortune. to say. No kidding. That's from a, a fortune, fortune cookie. cookie. Exactly. Okay, right. so the other thing that I'm all about with fortune cookies is I eat the whole cookie before I read it. I can't do that. You can't eat the cookie, Allergic. Can you? But, dang it, don't touch it. Oh, I can touch. I can. Yeah, I'm good. Okay. I just don't. I got you. Just don't. You. <laughs> okay. Well, that's but, my thing. It's not going to happen okay. unless I eat it first. I'll have you hear a corn cream. But why? All right. So there's a banking app on the back. I know. What's that about? <laughs> what? They're like, you all, oh, you. <laughs> <laughs> you suck at financial. <laughs> Here's an app to make 
Never mind. See, my, it's I'm going to read you. I'm going to read you my financial oh, one after because okay, it's yeah. actually cute. Oh, okay. There's actually okay. Go with yours. Oh Jesus. Okay, so apparently uh, it says, "Do you know what to get, Dad? Send money wherever he desires." Yes, exactly. Send me money. <laughs> Look for Zell in your banking app. So apparently. It's that's not your fortune. Oh, yeah, yeah. sorry. <laughs> the other side. I was waiting to get upside down. Where you they go? must. Oh, God. Zell or Zell? Zell. They, they, must, they must fund the fortunes now, huh? They Apparently must. So. That's interesting. I thought oh. that was a Bill Gates thing. Yeah. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> okay, so here's my fortune. Uh, there is a friend in your life that wants to hear from you. Lucky numbers 2, 5, 9, 12, 19, and 32. Three, six, well, all nine. your friends are hearing from you right now. Oh, right, yeah. Exactly. Do you not tune in? Why are you not hitting the notification bell? What is oh, wrong with you? That's like shame. <laughs> I just got fortune cookie in my shirt. All right, so you're still working. <laughs> I'm on my second that's one. That's fortune. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so. Oh, I shoot. Five. I think I ate half of the fortune. Look at Oh, it. no. <laughs> oh, no. You will befriend someone in an unconventional manner. Hmm. We're going to the split screen. But I'm not going to <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but brighten up their bank account, they're telling me. <laughs> I am not going to pay for friends. Thank you, fortune cookie. That's, an, uh, that's an interesting way to meet a friend. Yeah. Is to brighten their I had their I almost fell for that once. They're like, <laughs> oh, how, how you send me these money. Send me the... Wait a minute, scammer. Uh, apparently, Bobby says Zell is what hunting bank, Huntington Bank uses. Did you know that your oh. bank was a hussy? A hussy? A hussy <laughs> on the cookie? Right. <laughs> All right, oh, I'm gosh. really bad because I'm unfortunate cookie number three. I love these things. <laughs> <laughs> oh, also, you guys, uh, Birch Run Imagine Theater, we're not sponsored by them, but they do have a lot of the older um, movies that you can go and watch, and Christmas Vacation is actually going to be one of them. Right. Really? So if you go to their um, website, you can see which ones are going to be. They're starting this month. I think the old Matrix is going to be playing. Yes, yes. Uh, the Christmas movie, National Lampoons, I think is playing. And there's Harry Potter, a couple other right. different ones. So, By the way, thank you guys so much. We've reached, we're, well, we're over it now, but uh, it was about six minutes ago or so. Like right at nine o'clock, we hit a hundred messages from you guys Yay. in chat. So thank you very wow. much. Thank awesome, you guys, guys so much. That is awesome. Got a lot to co like catch up on over here. I'm sorry, guys. I'm slacking tonight, but I'm enjoying the conversation. Shit in the bed, Heather. Way nope. to go. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> that would be terrible. That's a horrible analogy, Tony. <laughs> right. Ew. Right. Cream. <laughs> we need you. <laughs> He's on here on YouTube. He's we need to get him on the show with you. That's amazing. <laughs> I don't know if you guys could handle him and I together on the show. Oh, that'd be fantastic. We love Kareem. He's, he's saying, awesome. He's also saying that if you win, <laughs> he wants his 50%. Oh, for the shirt money? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Listen. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to make the shirt. <laughs> We all got my money. Oh, gosh. <laughs> so right. what, is, what is your fortune? <laughs> which one? <laughs> your favorite. You pick which one's your favorite. Yes, yes. The cookies are my favorite. That's oh. all. <laughs> your sister bought a gift for mom. Pay her back with zeal. I don't like this. No. Not They're like this bossy. What yeah. happened was it used to be on the back you learn Chinese. Yeah. Yes. No. I'm trying to learn Wing Kong. No. <laughs> right. <laughs> but no, you have to say. <laughs> oh gosh. All right. You'll create something memorable this year. Done. Yes. That would be the shirt. Ugly <laughs> I was yeah. thinking the market, but okay. Oh, that too. That too. The shirt is going to be memorable. Come You'll to the see. market. Make sure all of your responsibilities are in check. <laughs> Shit. Kareem, did you send that one? <laughs> he's like, he's really just making fortune cookies. <laughs> That's where he's at. <laughs> he's, yeah, he's like, here, so I hate the Zeal app. <laughs> Allow others to join you on your journey through life. Listen, there's more. I'm eating. Wow, <laughs> <laughs> don't cook it. <laughs> this is the half fortune. You will connect with a fry. I think best friend. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I think I was just holding my boob on camera. Sorry right, about that. that. Got lots of pictures like that. I'm like, what are you trying to hide? There isn't anything there. So you will connect with a fry. Have not seen in a while. <laughs> <laughs> wow. 
There's your Chinese there trying to learn. Right? What did I do? Fantastic. Oh, back in, back in, back in, back in. So Kareem has this job and he works with, gosh, where are those people from? Honey, tell me where those people are from. Are they Samoan? I don't know. I downloaded some app to learn a different language. And the only word, wow, that's loud. <laughs> <laughs> the only word I know is Wakakasan. Which oh. means hello. Like, that's a crazy what hello. That is. If somebody said, walk like a to you every time they saw you. I'd be like, you down with a sickness? Right? <laughs> right? <laughs> right? <Walk us down. laughs> yeah, right. John yeah. says, Grandma Candy is the best. I miss those caramel circle things with the white glob of cream in the middle. Uh, Jerry's joining in. Hey, Jerry. She says, what Asian gourmet place? Mm. It was where it's the best of BGs. yeah. It's they, where the Asian ET used to be. I mean, buffet. Yes, <laughs> it's yes. for cuisine out of this world. Like yeah, your buddy Ma. you <laughs> want Pepsi with that? Uh, Cream says close to VGs. Yeah, VGs. Yes. Uh, Scarface Gaming says you're all in the same room. Yes, we are. Yes, yes. we are. Yeah, they're on the other side. They put me in the corner. Yes, we did. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, we did. And she brought us gifts even. Yes. Uh, John says, I love fortune cookies, but they taste nasty. They're freaking awesome. Oh, You're wrong. He's going to try to throw down here. I mean, it tastes like Yes, they are, cup, and I'm your friend far away. Aw. <laughs> they kind of taste like cardboard, but it's a sweet cardboard. So it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then John says, why are there eight people watching this on YouTube and only four likes? Oh, he's calling yeah. me out. Yeah. Punch the like button in the mouth. <laughs> Cream says at least zero di- at least zero dislikes. Awesome show. I really enjoyed every bit. Uh, Somalia, Spanish, Somalia. Yeah, there you go. Thailand and Arabs. It's the Somalian. That's, what he says. That's I'm trying to learn Somalian. Wagakasan. <laughs> Cream, did you memorize that yet? Because I downloaded the app. Then it taught. I was learning the numbers and stuff. I don't know why I did that. What am I going to do with that? You never know. Because in, in case you want to tell them about Zeal app to send you money, yeah. yes. how much money you want. You guys, I got one in the fields. <laughs> it says you will know when you find true friendship. Aww. Well, I haven't felt it yet. <laughs> <laughs> I, was kidding. I was kidding. I'm kidding. I was kidding. waiting for that. I was like, uh, aww. Right, so let's catch up more on this one. Jen says, we already did that, Heather. Uh oh. <laughs> laugh out loud. No, Wait, you didn't buy me, but we met unconventionally. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Kenneth says, woohoo, 100 comments. Bobby says, whoop. <laughs> and uh J- Jen says fortune cookies were never good. <laughs> I'm leaving. <laughs> Chocolate dip fortune cookies are good though. Ooh. You gotta no. add a no. little bit extra. No. Almond cookies from there are good. Not See, impressed. I don't like those. No? See, okay. I'm not a fan. No. Those are gluten-free, no. so that's okay. why. That's no. why. That's you kind of have to just accept things when you're gluten-free. You're like, well, eh, this tastes like a bunch of ground-up almonds, but that's what I got, and I got to be cool. So yeah. this is a good cookie. I mean, it's not and terrible, but I'm always all about the fortune. It's There's some child living inside me that's like, get your fortune. That's all right. You know, and read your placemat at the Chinese restaurant. What an, year are you? Like, I'm an ox. Yeah. I'm so an ox. I'm a monkey. <laughs> I'm a so dragon. monkey. That makes sense. <laughs> I'm so a monkey. You're what? What are you? I'm a dragon. You're a dragon? I remember yes. what the dragon one was. I feel like I'm not supposed to like you because you're a dragon. Stay That's away from them. Like a, no, rat, snake, horse. I'm not supposed to be friends with I'm you. Sp- not supposed to be friends with the dog and I think the monkey. Whatever. The dog. Seven <laughs> years in, buddy. You're stuck with this monkey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, also Scarface is saying, do you ever play those guitars online? Yeah, I yes. guess you could answer that question. That would right? be Guitar Fridays, which uh, I would be doing tomorrow, but we are doing a pre-record show with Pipe Dream Gaming, and it's going to be awesome. amazing. So... Shout out to Pipe Dream Gaming. If you have not checked that out, go check it out. He's on Twitch. He's on YouTube. Amazing content. And he's a pretty badass magic player. So go All check right. it out. I have to go check him out. Yes. Uh, tomorrow we do have that podcast for the special. We also have a special coming up for Initiative Impossible for the Christmas holiday. Yes. There's going to be a, a special campaign that we're going to do for that. And also possibly a song with the, the players. <laughs> We'll see how that goes, though, if we can pull it off yes. in enough time. Yes. So check out for that. Uh, I want to see this. What is the link for that, Scarface is asking? So it's still on Don't Make This Weird, isn't it? Yes. It, so if you're you, subscribed already. Yep. If you go back, actually, uh, there's a playlist. If you go to the playlist on the channel, 
There's a playlist for every single show we do. So if you find Guitar Fridays, click on that. I think there's like 54 or 56 episodes that I've done for Guitar Fridays. So go check that out. Sometimes it's technical issues that I have and it sounds like crap, but most of the times it's pretty good. So it's <laughs> pretty good. Yeah. Awesome. Very yes. cool. So yeah, there's a lot of different things that you guys can check out. I want to give a shout out to uh South State Radio dot net over there in Lapeer. Yeah, they re air a English. lot of different things for us on their channel. And we really are appreciative <clears throat> of uh Sean and Adam over there. Yes. So if you go, you can re-listen to it there. What episode are we on right now? I should know this, but I'm not very good at that. 219. All right, 219. It's hard to believe that it's been that many already. Oh, no, it's not hard to believe because I've worked my ass off. It looks like it's still there. (laughs) Oh, (laughs) shots fired. Shots fired. Well, we were talking earlier about shopping local. I got a couple of shout outs here and then Tony, I'll pass it over to him to to read out. Uh, We have Buns and Roses Holistics. They were part of the farmer's market. We really love them. Uh, they do tar- uh, tea, tarot candles, yoga, Reiki healings, and so much more. She's got jewelry uh, on her Etsy shop. She's got really cute mugs. I keep mentioning that for Christmas. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you can check them out at www.bunsandrosesholistics.com. And you can also follow them on Instagram and in Facebook as well. And we're going to be getting them on the show, too. Yeah, yeah we have awesome. to. Yeah, we have to get them on the show you always say something about her husband looking like uh, Greta Van Fleet, Greta Van like he's the lost <laughs> brother from. If you've seen him, you yeah, don't understand. Yeah, Mitchell does kind of look like him. He does. Okay. All right. All right. And then I want to also give another shout out to Stone Cottage Farm of Mayville. Uh, they have some Stone amazing Cottage. goat milk soap. Uh, we did the oh, yeah, Ellington Craft Fair together, and one of my favorites that I kept telling everybody was the cinnamon coffee, which was amazing. Yeah. Going for the handoff. But the. Oh. They do all of their natural ingredients, and their first ingredient Ooh, is love. So not only do they have goat milk soap, but they have soap koozies, and uh, they do goat milk shares, and what was the other thing? The spiced rum packets yes. are amazing. What's the name of this place again? Stone, Stone Cottage Farm. Stone and you can Cottage find them Farm. on so Facebook. It should be on there. Yep. The you can find them on oh, Facebook yep, or you can go to their Etsy store and that will have all of the different scents that they have available there. www.etsy.com slash shop slash Stone Cottage Farm. So Look at oh, that. the charcoal. I don't know if I'm on or not, but yeah. like the char- it's like a key. So those are really fancy and yeah. pretty and it smells wonderful. And I love goat milk soap. It's so yeah. good for your skin. It is very good. She uses it you actually can have in her hair. One of those. We give our guests those. Yeah. I'm going to take the one with the key I, because that cool. matches my tattoo that you don't know about. Oh, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> My favorite is the coffee cinnamon. What's your favorite? Uh, honestly, here's the thing. I'm, I'm a so poor, pick. so there's Thank that. You. I like uh, frankincense, turmeric, uh, and the plantain charcoal. The fig- the forgiven is a good one. Uh, that's a good one too. Mm-hmm. But uh, the plantain charcoal, uh, turmeric, frankincense, and then just the regular uh, plantain, which is amazing. It does crazy things to your mm-hmm. skin. It's like, so good. Actually, Plant- heal it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm. It- is it plantain or is it something different? It's called the bone mender. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. plantain. Yep. Yeah, yeah there's it, actually, it really does. It really does help. Yeah. They actually you should get have, some plantain oil for your arm. Yeah. They actually have some of the uh, the plantain that they use at the farm. There is a chicken there called uh, plantain, plantain head. head. We call him Hey because hey, he got attacked. <laughs> And they actually wrapped the and stuffed the wound with that, and it right. healed it. And yeah. the bird's still there, the chicken's still there. Uh, my goat one time, so it, it kind of relates to this. But my goat one time, she uh, she got herself wrapped up somehow in some like uh, vines, mm-hmm. and she broke her her leg. Like it's hanging Aww. there, flopping around. Right. Mm-hmm. This was like five years ago. Yeah. But I went to my goat lady, and she's all about like the holistic healing things. And she was like, "You got to get some plantain." And there was another one too. There was another herb. But she walked me out like. Like, oh, damn near a mile into her field. And we went and picked the stuff. And wow. then she's like, just squish it up, put it on. Three days, the bone was completely back together. And two days after that, I brought the goat to the vet because that's the earliest I could get it in. Yeah. And they said they didn't even see a break. I'm telling you, the the bone was flopping. Like, wow. the foot was just flopping. And then it, then it was better. It's crazy. I mean, I don't know about magic, but it might be something like that. Oh, yeah. It was Holistic awesome. is the way to go. Yeah, it was for amazing. sure. 
I have one more that I'm going to mention, and it's uh, we love Katie Skelton. She makes yeah. the creative crafts by Kate, yes. custom sewing and machine embroidery, custom vinyl work as well. Mm-hmm. You can go find her on uh, on Facebook. It's just a thing. Cancer sucks. Fuck cancer. But she does custom, so you guys can go check her out. I don't know. This yes. time of year, we're getting a little bit closer to uh, Christmas, so when you are going to ask somebody to do a custom... Just be be mindful that sometimes they're running down the wire and they might have a pile up of customs that they're already doing. They might not be able to do that. But like me and other of the small businesses, we can direct you to other people that might have time to make the customs. So, yeah. so yeah, go check her out on Facebook. Absolutely. And I'll pass them over to you. <laughs> so I have all of the ones. I have to give a shout out really quick to my cousin, uh, the unknown artist. You can find him on uh, YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, I don't even know all the channels he's on right now. But uh, after the new year, my understanding is correct, he's going to be jumping back on and smashing some amazing content. So shout out to my cousin, the unknown artist. Go like and subscribe. Give him some love. Show some support across these platforms because that's what we do for all this stuff. He's actually in the featured channels button on. Oh, he is, yeah. Yes, exactly. So speaking of that, supporting local... Uh, why are you guys not going to the harvest? Like I heard, I went and talked to people and they're like, uh, because you're not running your mouth, Tony. So go to the harvest, harvest your crab right downtown here in Cairo. Mm -hmm. They have tea, they have coffee, they have amazing food. And they also have a gluten-free option. They do. For that place. So go check that out. In fact, one of the lovely ladies there, Emily Steely, who is just absolutely incredible. She is also a massage therapist. Nice. So if you guys need a massage therapist, she's your gal. She actually does house calls, which is Kareem. cool. Uh, you can get a hold of her. Text <laughs> her first, 989-492-6251. Uh, she does therapeutic massage, relaxation massage, trigger point therapy, cranial sacral. Did I say it right? Isn't that sacral? God. <laughs> I thought it was sake. Sake? Sack? You just didn't want to say sack. <laughs> no, That's I probably it. This is the one I always, I, 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 I always screw it. up. Heather will say it. I know uh, she'll say it. Right. So, uh, light healing touch, reflexology, and joint mobility. Awesome. So, yeah, don't be a creeper. Just support local. Mm-hmm. And last but certainly not least. Ah, uh, this is one of my favorite ones. Yes. Well, well, we're actually, go they're all are my favorites. Yes, they're, they're all our favorites. But here's the thing. Heather and I started this health journey about almost a year ago mm-hmm. uh, to get healthy, uh, all natural, all organic, homeopathic. And we stumbled into the office of Shelson's Natural Health, located right here in Cairo at 21 North Almer Street, Carol, Michigan, 48723. Here's the best part about this. They have two ridiculously overqualified doctors. Dr. Matthew J. Shelson, uh, PhD, LMNOP, VQ, VQ, (laughs) TW. There's so many different. Yes. Uh, (laughs) But he is such an incredible dude. Uh, getting everybody is like starting to go see them. There's a lot of people that are starting to go see them. I'm loving this because they are so freaking amazing and they have such incredible bedside manner they do when it comes to just doing the interview process so if you want to start that health journey go check out uh dr matthew j shelson at 855-672-2600 and if you're not a fan of male doctors because well they just had bad experiences or whatever they have a female <laughs> option, and that's Dr. Katie, our lovely doctor. Yeah, Dr. Katie. Her, her last name's so Grummel because she got married idea. recently. I don't know. I mean. But you can go see her. She's yes. amazing. I, I have to laugh because when I filled out my paperwork, because it just was a long list of stuff I had going on, <laughs> I just literally wrote hot mess on it. Yes. Hot mess express. True story. <laughs> you know, she walked in, and she was like. Okay. I like challenges. So, yeah. And they do. That's the thing is they're going to be brutally honest with you. And they tailor it specifically to what you need. Mm-hmm. So, if you are comfortable with female doctors, you can get a hold of Dr. Katie at, oh, what does that say? Oh, at 855-672-2600. Yeet it across the studio. Uh, Dingo bar. Yes. So, what do you got to lose but your health? 
Yeah, so go check them out. They do treat all over, actually. It's not just local, so you can get in touch with them. Uh, I have a couple questions over here uh, from the YouTube chat. Let's ah, see here. Um, so Scarface is saying, I want to see this. What? Oh, that's the links for that. Uh, does Do they ship to the UK? That's a good question. You can go check out their Etsy. I'm not sure if they do or not. You have to see on their Etsy. They might be able yes. to do that to you. Uh, but Kareem is saying that overseas right now, the shipments are crazy late. So you yep. might run into that as a problem. Um, Lexi says, Ooh, cousins, I miss that man. Kareem says, they make me a special cafe, a latte, the harvest. Yes. Yeah. yeah. He loves his cafe au lait. It's like oh, steamed milk. Thank you. Yeah. It's a good stuff. It's a spastic. Steamed. Okay. I've never tried that. It's awesome. Uh, yeah, that is amazing. Lexi agrees. And John says, hey, Tony, do you have a British accent in that amazing vocal arsenal of yours? <laughs> and Cream says, it's a mix of Australian and American, LOL. <laughs> <laughs> and Lexi says, he does. I got one from him. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Cheer, so there's that. Good day, Gavna. <laughs> so all right over to all of the other socials hey lacy smith is chiming on hi lacy hey, long Lacey. time no see it's amazing uh she says hi tony uh everybody's saying hi lacy they're saying <laughs> uh she said i'm dying at the captioning mrs uh so oh. bad because facebook does close yeah, captioning I forgot about I that. that so you can do all yeah. kinds of amazing stuff and they never get it right so mm -hmm. you know that's it, a legit job too people here's the best part about it if you are <laughs> deaf and you're watching Couldn't the close captioning up. in this show <laughs> sorry. sorry very sorry for that i mean it's not that we don't uh, appreciate everybody that tunes in we're not saying that but it does right. it messes up a lot on that one and Kenneth says, my laptop is finally fixed. It's finally Yay. saying my battery is charged at 100%. Wow. Thank you for that tuning in. That took a in. while. Quick shout out to Kenna. She yeah. actually has her own channel on YouTube. It's called Pocket Kenna Gaming. Yeah, go check her out. Go check it out. She's adorable. Yeah. All right. Well, let's. we're almost to the end here. We thank you guys for sitting through all of those shout outs. We do really love to be able to share local, shop local, all of that stuff. Support so, local. But again, you can check some of them out. Like we said, uh, Dr. Shelson's, they do treat people from all over the world. Yes. Uh, I'm not very sure on the shipping for um, Stone Cottage Farm, but you can check that out on the Etsy that we shared. We'll go ahead and try to share more of those if you guys haven't checked out Strange Friends Media. We try to keep some of the stuff from the community uploaded on there, put in there as much as we can. Yeah. So hopefully we'll get some more of that stuff out there. If you guys are around carol this weekend go stop at the gingerbread happenings go ahead and uh maybe give give a little bit more of that where to go yeah, um that one more time can, with that. yeah, yeah definitely start so you, your journey begins right there at the carol farmers market uh facebook page you're going to jump on there and click the events button and it's going to show you everything that's going on for the gingerbread festival we definitely want to see you out there not just to uh, support the vendors and things like that and to enjoy the free stuff, but it's going to just be a great time to be in town and, and get out, right? So, it's supposed to be good weather, too. Yeah, it is supposed so, to be good weather. So, that's helpful. And we do have, we have heaters, we have lights, so it's going to be nice even outside. There's a food truck on Friday night, so it's going to be it's definitely be a good time. And I love what you said. Like, we we're kind of talking about shop local, but supporting local is really mm -hmm. important. You know, if you can't buy right now from somebody... Share their page, like yes. their stuff. Yes. You know, you don't have to buy something to support your yeah. community and support your friends that are doing things. You can help, you know, just a like. Every mm -hmm. like is going to trigger the algorithm uh, on Facebook and things like that. And it's going to help build what they're doing. So that's why we're like, yes, 100 messages or 100 yeah, comments. And, that's incredible. And this many viewers because that's like it's helping to build the yep. audience. The more you get, yes. the more people are going to be able to access that. It's going to show up in their feed. That's how the web works. So we definitely love that you commented so much and we love that you're talking to each other too that's really fun that's what fun. and to do a quick rundown of what we do here at strange friends media i'm gonna pop over to our strange friends media page and hopefully you guys can see all of this this is oh there's the don't make this weird security cam <laughs> oh, oh boy there's my, <laughs> that my foot <laughs> all right so guys this is what it is i'm gonna walk through this really quick before we sign off just because you guys can see a visible, visible representation of what we do. And we actually have more coming down the pipe. We have three or four podcasts that we're working on that are kind of in production hell. And if you do any <laughs> podcast, you understand purgatory. what that means. Yes, it's yeah. in purgatory. 
So let me start over here at the left side of our screen. We do Initiative Impossible, which is on Tuesdays from 6.30 to 8.30. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we have, obviously, Don't Make This Weird, if you guys are not realizing what channel you're on right now. Welcome. Uh, you're making it weird. <laughs> uh, Welcome. Uh, also on Tuesdays, we have This Is My Brain Tuesday Night Rants. That is so much fun. If you guys like political and pissing people off, go over there and say hi. Uh, but And then on Saturdays is also This Is My Brain Podcast. Uh, which is so much fun. He has some really cool, interesting guests. That's down at Howl at our that second down, HQ. Yeah. And you yes. do chill, chill stream. I was getting to that. Yeah. But Go here's ahead. the next Guitar one. Fridays. It's one of my personal favorites. Oh. Is Survivor Girl Podcast. Oh, I was trying to jump on the Guitar uh, see, Fridays one. You know what? Just shit the bed, whatever. Well, so you know. So it's Survivor Girl Podcast yeah. is every, so first, Three first weeks? three Sundays first three at Sundays. six o'clock. It's an hour show. Yes, it has been kind of up in the air right now though because I I've been working a lot yes. and I've been mandated to work on weekends. So and that's okay. I'm not complaining about that, and I appreciate everybody being very patient with me on that. But I guarantee you, I will be back in motivational Mondays. Yes, and yeah. that's another one we get to. But yes, yeah, Survivor Girl is on there. Uh, chill stream Saturdays, which is so much fun. I get to play online games with you guys and showing support in the community so we can also do a bunch of cross-platform promoting because it's not just stuff that we support. It's becoming huge in the gaming community, and we love, love, love each and every one of you guys supporting and plugging our channel. Even when you do, like, product reviews, that's so freaking cool. Yeah. Like, cracking magic cards and talking about a channel you watch. Thank you guys so much for that. And then Guitar Fridays, which unfortunately, one more week, I am not doing because we have a pre-record we have to do. Yes, we do. Uh, Crystal LeFay's podcast. Oh, my God. That girl is, she's straight fire. Very positive. Plain, Very positive. Straight fire. It's amazing. And real. I mean, yes. even when she's not having a positive moment, because let's be, let's face it, yes. in life, it's not always positive. Yes. I like the fact that you can show both sides and how to get through that. So. And last but certainly not least, because we have so many more coming down the pipe, Motivational Mondays by yours truly on hmm. my, uh, uh, when I remember. That, right, right or left? How am I saying yeah. that? I'm one of these sides. The lovely Heather Edgington. And I got to say, guys, thank you so much for the support at Solid State Radio. You guys are making our Sunday night lineup crush it with 2,000 yeah. plus listeners wow, a week. What? Holy cow. Thank you guys so much. And if, <laughs> if you've not listened to it on SolidStateRadio.net and you listen on here, I encourage you to do both. Like, get those interactions and engagements like lauren was saying about the algorithms yeah. punch that like button hit the subscribe hit the notifications so that way you guys can maybe catch us live and come hang with us because right. it's all about the shenanigans so i'm going to go back to that uh oh not that that i'm gonna go back to that <laughs> back to this <laughs> i do want to give one more shout out as you talk about the product um people talking about products and whatnot yes. i do have a very big like a fan um she does instagram her name is borderline freak on there yes uh, Brittany. she showed up at the at the farmer's market and supported a it's lot of Brittany. people she shares a lot of her stuff that she purchases from small local on her instagram which is very cool so i want to give her a shout out and also i got a couple more things before before we end here guys it's hang in we're batch. getting there uh <laughs> so scarface is saying that he is even if he's late he's here yes and it's yep. 2 29 a.m right now where he's at i love our fans they're yeah. so dedicated regardless yeah. of what time of day it is yep and also he says what games you play bud please feel free to dm me absolutely oh, cool, cool and then uh let's see here <laughs> john's killing me here <laughs> he's singing the baby lock the doors and turn the light down low and he says turn them back turn. out i freaking stubbed my toe <laughs> <laughs> oh my god all right the game already you should see the video it's freaking hilarious yes. and lexi says i've seen the tiktok so she knows who borderline freak is okay yes. all right so thank you guys so much thank you lauren for joining yeah. us yes, we've had a you, great lauren. time with awesome. you thank you for the fortunes oh you're and welcome yeah we appreciate that will you come back before the uh, next farmer's market get gets kicked off so we can help promote that hell yeah all, all right. right we'll Thank have you, you come so back much, yeah. maybe we'll have uh your husband come with you the next time yes. too. Yeah. love him too you he's have to a, bring kareem he's yeah. the number one volunteer ever he's fantastic <laughs> he is he can is. kareem come out and play yeah, yeah. there we go yeah. <laughs> when he's done working <laughs> <laughs> he's got 
chores to do that right? guy. It's homework does, and all that. Does, does. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you so much. You're welcome. Go oh, shop local. No. Why you gonna say that? Go shop local. Get Go your shop local. cash. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Thank you so much. And I, last thing, I guess. Keep it weird. <laughs> oh, it's weird not to say I love you at the end. <laughs> oh my God. I love you. Goodbye.